Hi guys, it's me Teacher Gon. I hope you will learn something from this video. And don't forget to like, subscribe on my YouTube channel. Thank you. Hi guys, it's me Teacher Gon. Nandito tayo ngayon para pag-usapan or i-review yung easy round ng grade 9 division oral, oral round last 2018. So we have here 10 questions and another extra question na pag I-solve natin and I hope nakatulong ako sa inyo kung paano ito i-deal ng mabilisan to prepare you for the oral round of MMC 2020. So let's get started. So the first question here is, what is the constant C? will make x squared minus 16x plus C a perfect square. So this one is a 15 second question. You can do it mentally. So gagawin ko to ng with solution and I hope you can memorize the step so that you can answer it within 50 seconds 15 seconds so we have here x squared minus 16x plus c so the question here is what is the value of c that can make the expression perfect square so ang gabi nyo lang dito is you need, you need to get the value of b which is negative 16 so you have negative 16 divided by 2. The answer is negative 8. And this negative 8, you will square it. Negative 8 raised to 2 is equal to 64. Therefore, the value of C is 64. That's it for number 1. So ganun na Let's have item number 2. Buray natin to. Tinan check natin dito kung sagot ba talaga 64. Your C is 64. So now let's go with item number 2. Sabi dito, solve for x in the quadratic equation x squared. We have x squared plus 4x minus 5 is equal to 0. So this one can be solved using factoring. So the factors are x minus 5 uh, plus 5 times x minus 1, then equal to 0. So since mabilisan to, you need to have x plus 5 is equal to 0, x minus 1 is equal to 0, your x is equal to 5, negative 5, and the other value is 1. So the value of x is, it's either 5 or 1. This is the value of x. That, that's it for item number 2. Review natin. Okay, we got it correct. So negative 5 and 1. So burayin natin to. Let's go with item number 3. Sabi dito, what is the sum of the roots of 3x squared? 3x squared plus 12x plus 2 is equal to 0. The formula for the sum of the roots r plus s is simply negative b all over a so to find the answer you need to have the value of a which is 3 and the value of b which is negative is 12 then you, there you have it it is negative 12 over 3 and don't forget to simplify to get what is the sum of the roots so the answer is simply negative 4 this is the answer for item number 3 so let's reveal the correct answer sa ating ano uh, answer key. So that's it. Negative 4. Okay. Let's go with number 4. Suppose y varies inversely as x. If x is equal to 3, when y is equal to 2, find x when y is equal to 5. So you need to know that the formula for or the equation that you need to create is that you have y is equal to k over x. And ang shortcut dito, na magagawa ko lang dito is, kapag hahanapin yung constant, you need to use this formula, k is equal to xy. You need to multiply the dependent and independent variable, and that is the constant of variation. So sabi dito, find x when y is equal to 5. So sabi dito, using the same formula, you have k is equal to 3 times 2, your k is equal to 6. And then, using the original formula, we have here 
y is equal to k over x, and then your k is equal to 6, you have y is equal to 6 over x. Sabi dito, hanapin si x when your y is equal to 5. So, palitan lang natin, you have 5 is equal to 6 over x. Then, multiply natin, you have 5x is equal to 6. Therefore, the value of x is simply x is equal to 6 over 5. That is the value of x when y is equal to 5. I reveal natin. Okay. Our answer is correct. 6 over 5. For item number 5, simplify the expression, the square root of 81 x to the 5th power. So, simply lang naman, the answer is simply 9 x squared times the square root of x. That's it. Explanation, 81 is a perfect square, right? So, we have 81. And then, eight, x raised to 5 is not a perfect square. Therefore, you can factor out as x to the 4th power times x. The square root of 81 is 9. The square root of x to the 4th power is x squared. And then this one is not a perfect square. So therefore, the answer is x, 9x squared times the square root of x. So let's reveal the correct answer. Okay? 9x squared times x. That's the answer for item number 5. So let's continue our, our, our discussion about the oral round of 2018 for grade 9. Let's, uh, let's have item number 6. The diagonals of a rhombus are 6 centimeters and 10 centimeters. Find the area of the rhombus. So, in this case, since it's an oral round, you need to memorize more formula for you to, uh, to surpass this kind of problem. So, the formula for the area of a rhombus using diagonals is area is equal to d sub 1 times d sub 2 over 2. Your d sub 1 is the first diagonal and your d sub 2, it represents the second diagonal. So since we have 6 centimeters for your d sub 1 and then your d sub 2 is equal to 10 centimeters, just plug in the values. You can solve it in using your mind. So you have area is equal to 6 centimeters times 10 centimeters all over 2. Then you can simplify it. The area is equal to 60 centimeters squared all over 2. Or the final answer should be 30 centimeter squared. This is the answer for item number 6. Now let's reveal the answer if our solution is correct. Okay. okay, that's it. 30 centimeters squared. So ngayon naman, let's go with item number 7. In a parallelogram, two adjacent angles have measures 2x plus 3 degree and 4x minus 3 degree. Find the value of x. So we have here a parallelogram. First thing you need to do ay alamin kung anong klaseng angle sila. According to this problem, you have two adjacent angles. So when you say adjacent angles, sinasabi siguro dito yung consecutive angles. Yung magkasunod. So what, what is the property of parallelogram na pwede natin gamitin? We know in a parallelogram that the measurement of angle A plus the measurement of angle B, if they are consecutive, is equal to 180 degrees or they are simply supplementary. So you can create an equation which is 2x plus 3 plus 4x minus 3 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. And then you can solve it. So you have here 2x plus 3 plus 4x minus 3 is equal to 180. So you have 6x. Ito magiging 0 na ta. So you have 180 degrees. So divided by 6, your x is simply 30 degrees. This is the answer for item number 
7. Let's have it in our answer key if the answer is 30 degrees. So, okay, there you have it. That's it. X is equal to 30 degrees. So let's continue. So we have here in number 8, sabi dito, if X raised to 0 0.2, 3, 4 is equal to 2. Medyo may typographical error. Sabi dito, what is 3 more than x raised to 0 0.486? So, kailan dito maging observe maging mag-observe yung ating participants kasi kung mapansin nyo, itong 0. 2.34 ay multiply lang sa 2. to get 0 0.486. Therefore, kung ini-equate natin to, this will be, ang, ang ano to, exponent to 1, ayan ay magiging 2 raised to 1 times 2. So, the answer is simply, 2 raised to 2, 2 raised to 2, or equal to 4. Pero remember, sabi dito, 3 more than. Therefore, plus 3 to, ibig sabihin, the answer for item number 8 is simply, 7. Ganun lang. So, reveal natin. Kung tama yung sagot natin. Okay, the answer is 7. For problem number 9, we have if A is to B is equal to 3 is to 1 then the other proportion is B is to C that is equal to 3 of is to 1. Sabi dito, what is the ratio of C is to C? A is to C. So, may dalawang method, pero ang tuturo ko sa inyo ay yung isa na mas mabilis. Ang gagawin nyo lang, you will treat those proportion as fraction. A over B, that is equal to 3 over 1. And the other is B over C, which is equal to 3 over 1. Ang gagawin nyo lang, you will multiply these two fractions, which is A over B times B over C. That is equal to 3 over 1 times 3 over 1. And then, kung mapansin nyo, itong part na to, you can cancel out B. Right? And then, when you multiply them, that is A over C, which is parehas nito. And then, multiply the right side of the equation na meron tayo, the answer is 9 over 1. So, meaning, the ratio or the value of A is to C is simply 9 is to 1. So, let's rebuild the answer. Okay? 9 is to 1 is the answer. Now, let's go with number 10. Now, let's go with item number 10. Sabi dito, how long is the hypotenuse of a right triangle if its two legs are 2 cm and 3 cm? You can use Pythagorean theorem, which is c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. And then, itong c natin, kailangan natin hanapin because this is your hypotenuse. So we have 2 cm squared plus 3 cm squared. So you have c raised to 2, b equal to... 4 cm squared plus 9 cm squared. So you have here c squared is equal to 13 cm squared. And then since c lang ang hanap natin, we need to get the square root of the equation. Therefore, you have c be equal to the square root of 13 cm. This is, this is the length of the hypotenuse given in item number 10. So let's reveal the answer if ours is correct. So we have here 13 centimeters squared. Now let's go with the last question or the extra question for the MMC 2018 grade 9 oral rounds. So I to find the vertex of the graph. Y is equal to x squared minus 2x plus 4. So, you can have it mentally. Ang tuturo ko sa inyo dito ay yung 
convert nyo lang siya bilang vertex form, which is y is equal to x minus h raised to 2 plus k. So, paano ginagawa yun? Ganyan nyo lang to, y is equal to x squared minus 2x plus 4. I-regroup natin yung terms. And then ito, gawin natin itong perfect square trinomial. So, you will have y is equal to x squared minus 2x plus 1 plus 4. At since nag-add tayo dito ng 1, magma-minus naman tayo dito ng 1. So, ang next step natin ay gawin natin itong perfect square, ah, sorry, square of binomial. So, you will have y is equal to x minus 1 squared plus 3. Since this one is already in this form, you can easily identify your h and k. Pero ang kailangan nyo tandaan, when you are getting the value of h, kunin nyo yung additive inverse nitong number na to. So you will have the vertex as 1, 3, as is na yung k natin. So that's it. So if you have, uh, reveal muna natin. Okay, the, the correct answer is 1, 3. So that's it. If you have some questions about this topic na meron tayo sa video ngayon, you can comment down below with uh, on our video. So, maraming salamat. Don't forget to like, subscribe on my YouTube channel. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Thank you and God bless.